everyone it is 2 p.m and what day is it today it's tuesday <laughs> i have spent the pretty much the entire morning working um, answering emails and also planning content for august as well as september heading into october these next two weeks are going to be like the busiest weeks ever because this weekend we have a wedding so it's not like i can work this weekend and then next week we will actually be leaving to the uk and i'm so excited to share that um i've actually never been to the uk and so this is honestly a really really exciting trip for me i will be meeting with some brands that i work with and it's just really exciting um there's a lot of brands in the uk that i really really love so i'll be going with my parents as well as my partner and it'll just be a really exciting trip i think um but that means that all of next week, not only will I have to work, but I also have to pack and get everything organized. So it's going to be hectic, very, very hectic. Exciting, but hectic. So I'm trying to ensure that everything is planned like to a T so everything gets done and I'm not like losing my brain in doing so. Um, so that's what I've been doing today. I've literally been like planning everything ensuring that everything is going to get out when it needs to and also that i have some sort of packed suitcase by the time we leave so i'm very very excited and yeah that's kind of a little bit of an update um right now i'm going to go and film a couple things and then later on i'm actually meeting my mom because she has been doing some shopping for the wedding that is this weekend and i'm so excited so if you don't know one of my family friends my longtime family friends actually um, it's getting married this weekend. I'm very excited. So I have You know what? It's been a hot mess because this wedding is outside. It's on grass the whole time So there's no like floor or gravel or anything we can stand on. It's on grass the whole time And so finding shoes and a dress has been very very difficult. I had bought my um Fendi shoes that have like a beautiful block heel, but finding a dress was very very difficult so i have narrowed it down essentially to a couple dresses i actually found one at holt renfrew and we were helped by the most lovely sales associate ever she was literally amazing so i found this dress here it's beautiful and i think this is going to be my backup dress because i actually found another dress that i really really loved from jacques miss i ordered this dress in the short version and the long version on farfetch like two days ago and I am crossing fingers that they will arrive by Saturday. I honestly don't think they will, but if they do, it'd be amazing. If not, um, I will just wear the one that I just shared. Um, but um, it's been really difficult finding a dress that goes with the right shoes. And um, yeah, unfortunately, I think with the dress that I just showed, I'm going to have to wear like a very like minimal, like barely their heel, probably my Christian Louboutins, my strappy ones. And um, if that's the case, I think I'm going to buy little like protectors that you put on the heel that actually make the heel like walkable on grass. They're not the prettiest thing, I think, but it might be better than wearing like a shoe that just doesn't go with the dress. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now with wedding stuff. But uh, my mom, on the other hand, she just found a dress today at Kate Spade. And I think she wants to get some little Dior slides, sorry, not slides, the Ja Dior um, sling back flat or potentially even the heel. But yeah, I'm gonna go meet her. And then my boyfriend also needs to go find stuff for the wedding. So later today, we will be going to, I don't know what mall is it? I think it's Sherway. I think we're going to Sherway to find some shoes for him. Um, yeah, we're all kind of a hot mess with this wedding. I think it's, it's been a very difficult wedding to get dressed for, to be honest. Um, but um, yeah, very excited. And that's kind of my plan for today. But I just wanted to update you. But anyways, um, right now I'm going to um, get my filming done and out of the way. That way I can go meet my mom. We'll probably also go grab a little bit of a bite to eat. I haven't eaten much today. I had pasta with butter because I just needed to eat and that's all that was in my fridge. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna go film. That way I can proceed with my day. My mom just got here and I just quickly changed into this Aritzia dress. It's, I think, the Elba dress and it's one of my favorite dresses. I get so many compliments on it anytime I wear it. Um, I wish Aritzia would make stuff like this, but they seem to have changed their ways. I'm just adding a little bit of my Laura Mercier 
lip gloss in melted sugar because it's my new favorite. Um, how's my eyebrow doing? She's crazy today. That's fine. All right, I'm ready to go. Hopefully we can get a little bit of a lunch too in there at some point because I haven't had lunch yet. So, okay. I'm also wearing my Fendi bag and my little Valentino rock studs in the nude color um, because those two items actually match really, really well. So, let's go. We just left Dior and I got in trouble for filming in there. I've never ever been called out for filming in Dior, so I don't know, maybe their policies have changed. I'm not sure, super strange, but I got called out by the security guard, not even a associate or anything. But mom got the little Ja Dior flash. She had to order them, so we're crossing fingers that they arrive before Saturday. But now um, we're just out for a little bit of a walk, seeing if we can pop into anywhere else. Just, I don't know, it's a beautiful day, so we're walking. TNT. It was one of the ones that I showed you guys and I'm just so torn between all the dresses. I have like four dresses on the go for this wedding. I just haven't figured out like what style I want. But right now I think mom and I are gonna go to um, Holtz and just maybe grab a bite to eat at Holtz Cafe and then see if they have any dresses there but I'm kind of giving up at this point. Yeah. Last I chatted with you, we were um, out for lunch. My mom and I went to Holtz Cafe to have a little bit of a bite to eat, but um, I'm home now and I'm just about to um, head to bed. I am all moisturized up, but we ended up going to Yorkdale after we were at Holtz because we needed some last minute things for the wedding this weekend. And it was a successful shopping trip, which I'm glad, but we got home pretty late. So we just had a little bit of a bite to eat and now we're in bed about to watch The Good Place and head to bed. So yeah, that was kind of good evening, but now I'm ready for bed. So I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It is a new day. Yesterday was a great day, but it's been a crazy busy day. I have a meeting in 10 minutes. Um, so I have to hop on that call. And then at two, I have a Dermalogica event, which I'm actually very, very excited. Dermalogic is a brand that, I mean, I've known about. I think it's a brand that is out there quite a lot. It's at Sephora. I've personally never really tried it. I've tried one product that um, I bought personally for like my under eyes. It's an under eye serum. I mean, it was fine. Um, but recently they sent me some PR and they actually sent me, I have them right here because I've been using them every single day. So this is the Dermalogica. A multi-active toner so this is refreshing and hydrating mist and then we've got the skin smoothing cream the toner is good but it's this this lotion is just phenomenal it is so hydrating it leaves your skin feeling just like you've been wearing moisturizer for like hours and hours and hours and hours and on it just really makes your skin feel insane and so I was like wow I was like okay I've been missing out on something because oftentimes on my Instagram I get a lot of people saying hey like you should try Dermalogica it's really really good and this oh my god I understand 
the hype about it now. It is so good. It is really good. So I'm very excited to go to the event today. It is a master class. So it's not so much about the products, but a little bit more about learning like how to take care of our skin, um, you know, how to include different products in our skin routine. So I'm actually really excited. There's different types of PR events, but Personally, my favorite ones are the ones where we get to sit down and learn from professionals, whether it's about fragrance and the composition of fragrance or, you know, about the history of a product. In this case, we're going to learn about our skin. So I will be taking you along with me and I'm very, very excited. Um, so that's today. And then at 520. I have a dentist appointment and I really do not like the dentist. I don't know where like my anxiety from like of the dentist sprouted from but i already have like a pit in my stomach about my dentist appointment later today i really don't like the dentist i will postpone it for as long as i possibly can but i can't postpone my cleaning anymore so i'm going today and i am like oh i don't like the dentist if any of you are like that just yeah i feel for you because it's just not my thing but yeah that's pretty much my day today it's just been very busy i'm trying to edit a reel to go out before i have to leave um i also self tanned today you can't tell but it is processing right now. I quickly wanted to sit down and talk a little bit about something that happened in the last video. Now, I didn't address this earlier in this vlog because honestly, I hadn't read the comments yet. I, um, I read a couple and I got the sense that that wasn't going to be good for my mental health. So I laid off the comments until um, yesterday. And I just want to say I apologize um, if there were some of you that were really bothered by my actions and my decisions in last vlog, um, unfortunately, we're humans and we all make decisions and sometimes they're not the best decisions. And I just had a moment in last vlog that I made decisions that weren't the best. I obviously, my intentions was not to go out and get people sick. That was never my intention. And um, I know some of you kind of just assumed by what was shown, but I have had a very long relationship with my hairdresser. Um, so Chelsea was aware of how I was feeling and she was totally fine with it. It was actually only her and I in the salon. There was no one else. I've had COVID before, so I know what the procedure is like in terms of testing. And I know like how rapid tests work in terms of you know having to test a few days after symptoms. I had tested before and I also tested several days later and I continuously tested negative. So I just had the flu. Um, I did not have COVID, um, but yeah, I just wanted to apologize if that really, really bothered some people. I'm not going to say anything else about it. Let's move on with our day. I am going to hop on my call now. <laughs> I was going to have time to edit, but no, let's go. I got to get on this call. Um, sorry, just to Come on here doing my makeup but i am um, just about to head out to the dermalogica event i got off my call and immediately had to like replan the next pretty much week and a half because everything just changed i had an opportunity come up that feels surreal i'll tell you a little bit about it maybe later in this vlog which is i can't believe this is my life um but right now i'm about to head out to the dermalogica event i probably shouldn't be wearing makeup but i also like had to do stuff today so yeah, but anyways, I'm excited to do some facial and take care of my face today. Very excited. Sorry, as I was chatting with you, um, my battery died, but I'm just getting ready to go to um, the Dermalogica event. Um, I was just touching up my makeup. I've been using this Laura Mercier Melted Sugar Lip Gloss, and it is my all-time favorite lip gloss ever. You don't even have to put anything else on your lips, and it just looks wonderful. Um, but I wanted to touch up my makeup a little bit before I went. Where can I put you? Self tanners <laughs> are the best tripods ever. Um, what was I gonna do? Eyebrows. Yeah, I just wanted to fix my crazy eyebrow a little with my um, Charlotte Tilbury brow fix because they get crazy. Okay, not. Okay. Looks good. My hair is also super dirty, which is why it's in a bun today. Um, but yeah, I'm literally like stressed out today. It's a very busy day. I'm just making sure I have everything in my bag. I've been wearing my Holland Cooper saddle bag and it is amazing. But oh, it's not in here. 
Sorry, I just came here to swap things out of, because I was wearing my Fendi bag yesterday. So I wanted to swap things out. and oh my god my skin I'm gonna get nice and close look at my skin I do have some little red bumps there but my skin is looking absolutely insane essentially I had a wonderful time trying out all the products I use so many Dermalogica products and I have a couple already in my basket at Sephora because I will be purchasing several of them. Their sunscreen is literally amazing. They have a chemical sunscreen and a physical sunscreen. I, I know a lot of people prefer physical sunscreens. I am a chemical sunscreen gal. Um, that's just what I prefer. She did say that if you're someone who deals with a lot of redness and a lot of sensitivity, then obviously a physical sunscreen is gonna be better for you. But if that's not a bother, then a chemical sunscreen works just as well. Um, you're still gonna be protecting your skin. But I wanted to show you what I got in my little goodie bag. I'm gonna set you down here. I also like will not be putting makeup on today because my skin just feels amazing. <laughs> I got mask brush applicator. We have the special cleansing gel. I did try this one and it is so, so, so nice. Very gentle. Um, and another thing someone asked me, I think it was on Instagram, is if they are um, vegan and cruelty-free. Dermalogica is um, cruelty-free, gluten-free, and vegan-free. I'm just reading here on the side. And it's formulated without artificial fragrances or colors. It's also professional grade. So that's awesome if you're really looking to, you know, have great quality skincare. Um, what else did I get in here? I have the Skin Smoothing Cream. This is the one that I love. I have it, I literally have it right here on my vanity because it's just, it's amazing. So I got another box of that, which I'm very excited about. And then we have the Pre-Cleanse. Now this is something that I had been looking into and I actually had a Pre-Cleanse used on me when I went to the Caudalie um, Boutique. And I liked that one. It had a lot of fragrance to it. And we know I don't love fragrance. Um, but this one, I tried it today, and it is so, so lovely. It doesn't have a fragrance, from what I remember. I tried so many products today. Um, but from what I remember, it didn't have any fragrance. But this is great because it's gonna take off your makeup, it's gonna take off your SPF, any like dirt, and then you would follow it up with a gentle cleanser, like a gel cleanser. That's the next thing that I got. And then I got the Multivitamin Power Recovery Mask. This is. Oh my God, if your skin is like angry at you, this is the mask that you wanna use. I actually, I used it today. It is so, so potent. It really just leaves your skin like so glowy and healthy and bright. Is this camera out of focus? I can't even tell if it's in focus. Um, anyways, um, this is for stressed skin and it is phenomenal. Just the best thing ever. Um, so if you're looking for a mask to kind of bring your face back, this is it. I'm very excited. And then, Kind of the reason why we were there is the class was um, specifically on exfoliating. Now, I am someone that, truthfully, am a little bit scared of exfoliating. So you guys will often see me using chemical exfoliants. So that's going to be like my Ren skincare. And a lot of toners are chemical exfoliants. Um, but I've never really used a physical exfoliant. The only one I've really ever had used on my skin is a Valmont one, which I love, super gentle. But again, it's not something that I use day to day. I feel like my skin is already very sensitive. But we got to try 
several. So Dermalogica has three different ones. They've got the Milk Milky Exfoliant. I'm gonna say these all wrong. Then you've got the regular exfoliant and then you've got this one which is the daily super foliant so this one is the strongest one so it's going to be like the harshest on your skin so it's not recommended if you're someone who deals with like rosacea or acne or just a lot of redness but for people who live in the city like me um this one is actually one that the lovely educator at dermalogica recommended and that's the one i tried and it was amazing oh sorry Mom's calling, one second. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't even know what I was saying, but essentially this is the exfoliant that I picked out because I absolutely loved it. Um, so that's all I got from Dermalogica. I'm very excited, but there was one product. I'll actually tell you about it. I'll actually tell you which one it is. Like I said, it's already in my shopping cart <laughs> at Sephora. Um, obviously after we cleansed and exfoliated, we had to moisturize and the, um, moisturizer that I used was the Biolumin C vitamin C gel moisturizer this was like water in a bottle it literally just made my skin instantly hydrated it was so glowy it felt phenomenal um, and then the other product that I really 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 loved was the circular hydration serum with hyaluronic acid um, so that's it there and this one was almost like an oilier consistency but again so hydrating no fragrance just literally made my skin feel like brand new and i absolutely loved it so those two products i will be purchasing because they were just insane i just realized i put this in my bag <laughs> um yeah those two products that i didn't get i am buying like today because they are just so amazing like i love them instantly and um Another thing that that just makes me think of, I have like 10 minutes before I have to go to my dentist appointment, but another thing that's really interesting, and someone asked me this, like, I think it was on my Instagram, they're like, oh, like, how does your skin, like, you know, manage with, like, trying so many different types of skincare, and something that I didn't, I didn't know until, like, it was maybe like last year, so recently-ish, is that when it comes to specifically moisturizers, our skin, that is something that is targeting the top layer of our skin. So you are gonna see results instantly. So if your skin is going to react, it's gonna react instantly. You will know if that moisturizer doesn't work for you within like 12 hours or less. <laughs> so that's always something that I keep in the back of my mind. Serums, obviously depending on what their aim is, and, and what they're formulated to do. Um, those can take anywhere from days to weeks to months for you to really see how they're gonna function on your skin. So that's always something good to keep in mind when trying new skincare out. Same with sunscreen, obviously that's like targeting the uh, top layer of your skin. So it's gonna, you're gonna see the results instantly. Like if you're gonna react to a, a sunscreen, you're gonna react instantly to it. Um, for the most part, of course. Take everything with a grain of salt. So that's always kind of interesting and I always keep that in the back of my mind. So when I'm, you know, I'm trying a new moisturizer and I say it's fantastic, it's because there's really nothing else it's gonna do. Once I try it, I pretty much have a good idea of how it's gonna perform. The other really interesting thing that um, I don't necessarily struggle with, but my boyfriend has struggled with before is pilling. He'll oftentimes find that his skincare will like um, pill on him and D again, our lovely educator, and um, said that that often happens because you are not letting each skincare product dry and your skin isn't absorbing it totally before you're putting another layer on. So to prevent pilling, every kind of step in your skincare routine, you know, give it a minute, let it really sink into your skin, let it dry down, and then move on with your next layer of skincare. That's gonna really prevent pilling. I know I've experienced pilling before, but I haven't in the longest while and, um, yeah, I kind of always just assumed it was like the mixing of different products, but she said that oftentimes it's just because you're putting on everything too quickly. Anyways, after I come back from my dentist appointment, I will be packing because I have a last minute trip to Bordeaux with Caudalie. And I can't believe I'm saying that. Oh my God, I'm going to France with Caudalie. That's kind of like a surreal thing. It's one of my favorite skincare brands. And um, I will be actually probably there by the time you're watching this video or it might be on a plane when you're watching this video <laughs> um but um yeah i'm very excited but it's very last minute so i need to pack all my stuff and it's apparently super super hot there it's like 34 degrees which is like 
really really hot but i am leaving it's wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday so i have four days to pack not only for france but for london as well so yeah i'm just really excited and that's kind of i wasn't sure if i was going to tell you earlier on in the video but i am now so i'm going to go make a smoothie that way i can eat something and i don't have a grumbly tummy while they're cleaning my teeth anyways okay let's go <laughs> Good morning everyone i feel like i don't typically talk to you this early in the morning but i just woke up not too long ago and i'm gonna make my coffee and start getting ready for the day i actually really enjoyed my like no makeup day yesterday so i'm kind of going to do a very very light makeup this morning but i will be in comfies all day because i will be packing getting outfits ready together for france and essentially tidying up my apartment because after france i'm going directly to london so i'm never going to come home and I don't really want to leave my apartment a hot mess. So I just want to tidy it up and clean it. That way when I get back, it's you know not something that's going to cause me any stress. So that's pretty much my day today. I also do have to do a little bit of editing to upload some stuff on Instagram and TikTok. But that shouldn't take longer than like two hours. Um, so that's kind of my day. So I'm going to quickly make my coffee and then sit down, um, do my skincare and just a really, really light makeup for today. So yeah, anyways, let's get on it. I feel like I'm never in my bathroom with you, but I'm here. I'm going to wash my face and I'm going to use the Daily Microfoliant from Dermalogica. This was the one that I loved that I used yesterday, the Daily Superfoliant, but I feel like I want something a little bit less like aggressive on my skin today. Also, this hair is funny. So instead of using the Daily Superfoliant, I'm going to go in with the Daily Microfoliant, which I actually didn't have a chance to try yesterday, so I am excited to try it out. <laughs> also, how this works is super cool. So you essentially open it up, and then you're going to have like a literal powder in your hand, and that's what you're going to add water to, and then depending on how little or how much water you add, it's going to be more or less gritty. So that's really cool that you can kind of get to like customize it that way which, yeah, I, don't, I just think it's cool. So anyways, I'm gonna go in and do this. I'm not gonna use a cleanser on my skin because there's no need to already to strip away any more like oils on my face. So I'm just gonna rinse with water and then go in with this. So I'm going to start off with a toner. So I'm gonna use this Dermalogica Multi-Active Toner. And this is nice because you just get to spray it on and it feels honestly really refreshing. And I was told to just let it dry and not pat it in. Um, then I'm gonna go in with the Biolumin C Eye Serum. Now it's funny, I bought this a while, while ago and I still, haven't used up all of it. <laughs> like, I've still got so much left in that tube. I just chatted like three whole minutes with the camera and realized that the, that it wasn't on. So I can't remember if I mentioned, but I used my Dermalogica um, eye cream and then I went in with the NARS Skin um, eye cream over top of that just for some extra hydration. And then I just put a pump of the Caudalie Premier Crew Serum on my hand to put on because it is just so lovely, so, so, so hydrating. I love it. I want lots and lots of hydration today, so I'm gonna go in with the Skin Smoothing Cream. This is like my new favorite. I'm literally obsessed with it. And I'm gonna go in with a thick layer of that. I want even more hydration. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a thin layer of my Innisfree Intensive Hydrating Cream with Green Tea Seed. My new favorite, I think I've already mentioned this one, it is so, so lovely. Um, so much so that I went in and bought a new container of it because like I said, it is so lovely and I love the fragrance. It does have a fragrance. Um, it's really, really light, not super aggressive. And I find that it doesn't aggravate my skin like even though it does have a fragrance. Like I know fragrances are not the best for you, but sometimes a good product is a good product and it's just gonna have a fragrance in it and there's nothing you can do about it, unfortunately. So sometimes with these products, you just can't avoid the fragrance, but they're still amazing. So yeah. <laughs> and then just a little bit of lip balm as well. I have completely run out of Glossier and I have no time to order it. I'm very upset about it, so I'm gonna have to take this little guy with me or just another lip balm in general. 
and of course cannot forget SPF um, I have yet to repurchase my La Roche-Posay so I'm still using the Elta MD um, sunscreen which you guys know my opinion on oh, how healthy does my skin look I'm telling you I think it's that exfoliant I don't know what it does to my skin but you guys know like I'll typically have like quite a bit of redness in my cheeks and it's like almost entirely gone which is shocking the only other product that had ever taken away that redness was my Caudalie Premier Crew um, but obviously I'm always trying new products so unless I use this consistently my redness will kind of always pop up and I'm not sure what causes it um, but Dermalogica is another brand that also really targets my redness which is awesome so I had to like fix the lighting in here so skincare is all done and my skin looks so glowy I feel like you can see it on camera how glowy my skin looks but essentially right now I'm going to test drive some makeup because for France I want to pack makeup that is gonna look super super like natural like barely there makeup so no foundations like no heavy bronzers nothing like that like I'm gonna be there for Caudalie's so obviously I feel like everything is gonna be about healthy glowy looking skin and so I just want to target that so I know for sure that I will be bringing my um, Jones Road what the foundation foundation now this got so much hate on TikTok, and I think it's just because it's what it is like you have to not like thick heavy full coverage foundation this is gonna you know cover up any redness it's gonna just even out your complexion and it's gonna make your skin look super glowy and healthy and a lot of people like don't like glowy faces they think that looks oily I in my opinion I feel like that looks youthful I think when I think of a youthful skin I think of that like glowy like you know you're healthy it's plump when I think of like matte I think of just like skin that is dehydrated and not healthy um, maybe a little bit more mature and so that's why I'm always all about the glow I love the glow and I think that you really want to target glow with your skincare but products that help that um, are always gonna be awesome so this Jones Road really does that for me it looks really natural but so so glowy and just so healthy looking um, also I just love it but I gotta say the packaging on this is horrendous absolutely horrendous Bobby Brown you really need to work on this packaging because it's a nightmare um, like even right now I haven't used it in two days and I will open it up for you and it is just a hot mess of like oil and pigment and it gets everywhere not fun you have to stir it so I think they need to figure out a different way to, to package that um, regardless of the packaging the product itself is awesome so that's coming with me for sure my um say i think that's how you say it my say glowy super gel um it's, it's not even a serum i don't know super gel glowy super gel is coming with me this is super super nice again zero zero coverage um but it's gonna give me that nice like wash of like tint and color without covering anything and again it's super glowy <laughs> so those are the two products that i'm for sure taking with me um I, was, I considered my by Terry CC serum, but I find that the smell of the by Terry CC serum drives me a little bit crazy sometimes. I'm really moving away from fragrance in not only my skincare but also my makeup. And this one it gives me a bit of a headache sometimes, even though it is the most awesome product ever. I just I have a tough time with the fragrance on this one. Um, the other one that I could potentially bring is my Valentino V lighter, but this one is more of a highlighter. I find it's harder to use as a skin base, although I have used it as a base before. Um, what else? I have recently tried this Say Slip Tint. So if you love this product and you want something with more coverage, this is going to be awesome. But again, I think that this is going to be a little bit too heavy for what I'm looking for. Um, unless my skin decides to have a freak out, which I should probably consider that on the trip. But this is gonna be super, super hydrating um, for that. But anyways, I'm gonna stop ranting. I'm gonna do a makeup look today and um, kind of experiment with some different products to see if I can come up with a really, really natural makeup look. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna get straight into tidying the apartment first. I wanna tidy things up. I gotta put some laundry on, because obviously I need to have clean clothes. And then I'm gonna start putting outfit together and packing everything because I literally have two days to pack and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little stressed. <laughs> but it's like, it's an excited stress, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited. Anyways, let's go. I'm gonna do my makeup super quickly 
and uh, we can get on with the day. Hello, my camera has been funny all day, but it has been a minute since I talked to you and a lot has gone on in here. Essentially, closet is a mess, um, but I've got a rack here where I have started to put outfits together. Um, now I can't remember if I said, but essentially I'm going to France and then straight from France I'm going to London to meet up with my parents and boyfriend and it's just gonna be a lot So I'm pretty much have to pack for two trips in one So I have my little suitcase here, but then I'm thinking that I will take my big suitcase for London So it's to be four days in France, which is it's a lot um, so I don't know if I can even pack four days in a carry-on but I'm gonna try my best and then obviously the rest of my stuff is going to be in the big suitcase but the hardest part is this bag restriction um, because when I went to New York we pretty much split up um, because it was the two of us that went to New York so one of us had all of the skincare and the other one me had all my makeup um, but now I have to do one bag for all of my liquids and obviously I'm taking a carry-on I'm not checking in my bag but I have had multiple people message me that this little like um, quart size bag is um, too big for TSA it seems like there is a lot of inconsistencies um, but when I went to New York I took that exact bag and I had zero issues with it so I pretty much saved the bag um, and I had more in my house anyways but I pretty much am using the same bag that I used to go to New York and I'm hoping that it should not be an issue. Pretty much you just want to ensure that the bag can close and that nothing is like overfilling and that you can see everything in there. Um, so I'm just crossing fingers. I don't have to throw products out. If anything, I'll throw out my skincare. I can always buy skincare when I'm there. But um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. So I'm about to grab the big suitcase to start putting everything up. But I'm going to quickly show you kind of some outfits and some dresses that I have picked out for the trip. So we have this shirt which isn't hung up yet. That's my Lily Silk shirt. I've got my Karen Millen pants. All of my flowy pants are coming with me. Um, I've got this dress which I'm not sure if I'm going to bring yet but I thought that it would go really nicely with my Valentino shoes and these are super comfy. Um, I've got my white sleeper dress. I've got this beauty, um, this lovely pink Amazon dress. This feels so French and this tag has fallen off. Kind of not cool for the amount of money that I paid for this dress. But anyways, I thought that felt very like French. Um, of course, I will be bringing my um, Burberry sweater. This does it all and goes with pretty much anything. Um, I've got another cute little dress. This one is from Zara. So many of you will recognize this one. And then I've got um, a blue shirt and a beautiful dress. This is actually the dress that I'm wearing to the wedding and it is coming with me to um, France and London because it is just stunning. My Lily Silk black shirt and then my Holland Cooper blazer. But I think this area here is starting to be London as opposed to France. And then over here, I've started setting aside some tops. I've got some tanks here and then shorts, all of my black shorts, my white shorts, some denim shorts there. And then I'm thinking pants. I definitely want to bring to London. I don't think I'm gonna bring these to France because it's supposed to be extremely, extremely hot. For shoes, this is kind of where we're at. So we've got some sneakers for sure for London. I have a new pair that I have to open up as well. And then I have some, my Valentinos, because those are the, just the most comfortable slides. I really do not like these, but I want them in brown because I need brown slides, but I wish Dior made brown slides. I really, really wish. And then my brown heels from Ralph Lauren. 